Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. I've got a letter from Art Mavis in Australia. <laughs> ben! Hello there, everyone. What was that small? Just pop these down there. Ben, Ben! I've just received a letter from Art Mavis in Australia. <laughs> she says she wants a photograph of me to see what I look like now. I'm all grown up. <laughs> Have you got the camera? Oh! I certainly have. In fact, I've been told I'm rather a good photographer. Well, make sure you get my best side. Okay, then. Right. <laughs> Just give this a bit of a turn here. Now, come on, so I'll give us your best pose. <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. Why don't I do this to show how strong I am? <laughs> oh, yes, that's great, Small. No, no, no. Why don't I do this to show how grown up I am? Oh, brilliant, Small, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Why don't I do this goal to show how good at sports I am? Okay, then. Nearly there now. Come on, Ben. Take the picture. Just a little bit... Oh, a bit too close there. A little bit of a step back, and here we go. <laughs> oh, ben? Did you take the picture? Ben? Ben? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, I don't think I did get it, Small. <laughs> and I'm afraid Auntie Mavis in Australia won't be getting her photograph either. Look, the film's ruined. And I don't think my camera's going to be taking any more photographs. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a camera, and I don't have a photograph for Aunt Mavis. <laughs> Come on, Small, we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> And who's our customer today, Small? Ben! 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 It's... it's... Come on, Small, who is it? It's... it's... Monsieur Le Splat! The famous painter! <laughs> oh, he's got paintings in all the art galleries! Oh, how exciting! Oh, he's in our cafe! What are we going to make for him? What are we going to make? Something really special. Something really, really special. All right, Small, calm down. Stop running around. We need to think about what we're going to cook for him. Oh, I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. It was the day I decided to go to the seaside. I visited a lovely harbour where Monsieur Le Splet was doing a painting. It was very good. He painted everything except the boats. There were three of them. A red boat, a blue boat and a green boat. The painter had very nearly finished the picture, but when he turned round to get his paint, all the boats had sailed away. When Monsieur Le Splat turned back, he was very annoyed. Where are my boats? My painting is ruined. He went home, putting his painting in the bin on the way. The next morning, he started his painting all over again. Soon, all he had left to paint were the three little boats. Can you guess what happened? He turned around to get his paints, but whilst he wasn't looking, the three little fishing boats sailed away again. Monsieur Le Splat could not believe it. He was very upset. He couldn't understand why the boats kept sailing away. He was just about to throw his painting away again when I had an idea. I ran along the harbour wall and I reached him just in time. Stop! I shouted. He told me how fed up he was. How each time he'd nearly finished his painting, the boats kept sailing away. I explained that the little boats were fishing boats, and each day, just as he was about to paint them, they went off to catch some fish. 
He just had to wait, and they would all come back. Look! Look! Yelled Monsieur Le Splat when he saw the boats return. He was so happy! Now at last he could finish his beautiful painting. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! Well, bake my beans! Woohoo! His finished painting was lovely! We'd better hurry up though and think of something to cook! I bet our famous artist's getting really hungry by now. Now what to cook for him? <gasps> oh! oh. <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Aha! Look at this! The perfect thing for an artist. Herbie paint pots. Just the job. They look great. Come on, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need thick yoghurt. OK. Over to the fridge. Here we go. Thick yoghurt. Got it. Cucumber. Cucumber. Yes, got the cucumber. Spring onions. Spring onions. Yes, got those, Small. Celery. Celery. Very green, got the celery. Beetroot. Oh, yes, beetroot. Got the beetroot small. Mint. Mint. Um, mint. I don't think we've got any of that, no. And chives. Chives, chives. Um, no, haven't got any chives either. Right. There. Everything we need for the recipe apart from the chives and the mint. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. <laughs> Great idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Woohoo! Go, Small. Go, Small. Whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, what a beautiful day! Oh, look at all those seeds! There's lots of them, and they're being sprinkled all over the soil. They're tiny! They have to be covered with some more soil now, so they're completely hidden. And then to help the seeds grow, they need to be watered. Seeds grow into plants like these. This garden is full of plants called herbs, which are used in cooking. This herb is called thyme. Oh, I know what this one is called. It's the same as a girl's name. Can you guess? It's rosemary! Oh, what a beautiful butterfly! This looks like grass, but it's not. It's a herb called chives. Ben uses this herb a lot. If you rub the leaves between your fingers and then smell... Aha! It smells like your toothpaste! It's mint! What a brilliant herb garden! Bye! There we go. Hey! Did you see that? I'm sure I saw the painter looking through the hatch. He must be very hungry. <laughs> Way! I'm back! I saw all the different herbs growing in the field. And they smelt lovely! Did you get the mint and the chives? I certainly did. <whistles> wow! Fantastic! We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates, gold princess pea pies, carrot 
cakes and fruit smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Herbie paint pots? You do. There was thick yogurt, two cups, cucumber, half, spring onions, two, chopped, celery, two sticks, beetroot, one, cooked and grated, mint, a few sprigs, chopped, and chives, a few sprigs, chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started! Hoo-hoo! Right. The first thing we need to do is turn these old yoghurt pots into paint pots. That's a job for you to do, Small. Here's some paper. Thanks, Ben. I'll make some nice labels out of it, shall I? Excellent, Small. And I'll get on with making the herby dip to go inside the pots. So, there's no cooking in this recipe. It's just grating, chopping and mixing. And they're all jobs for your grown-up helper to help you with. OK? I'm going to begin by making the green herby dip. I've already started to grate this cucumber. There we are. I'll just finish it off. And I'm going to pop it into this bowl. In it goes. All in. Great. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of the creamy yogurt. Pour it all in. Scoop it out. There. And then, some of the spring onion, not all of it, a little more, and the mint. In it goes. And now it's time to give it a good old stir. How are you getting on, Small? I'm just cutting out blobs for the labels. Here's one. <laughs> and time for another. Round it goes. And there we have our green herby dip. So now it's time to make the pink herby dip. So, to do that, I'm going to need the beetroot, which I chopped and cooked earlier on. And I'm going to pop that into this bowl. There it goes. And then the same with the creamy yogurt. Pour it in. There we are. And now I can add the rest of the spring onion and the chives. In they go. And just like we did before, stir it round. The beetroot should make it go pink. How are you getting on with the label, Small? I'm painting this one pink. Hoo -hoo. And then I'll paint this one green. We've got the green herby paint and the pink herby paint. Brilliant. But there's something missing. Can you guess what? It's the paintbrushes, yeah! <laughs> and that's what the celery's for. So I'm going to take the two sticks of celery and I'm going to use these scissors to trim them down to look more like paintbrushes. Now that's a job for your grown-up helper to help you with. I've already done this one, so I'm just going to cut this one here. There we are. And this one in the middle. And the end. Just get rid of the leaves. And put those to one side. And then I'm just going to cut into them very lightly to make them look more like brushes. There we go. They look just like paint brushes now. And next, it's time to put the labels onto the yogurt pots. That's if Small's finished making them. Finished! I've splattered the green label green and the pink label pink, so there'll be no mistakes. Hee <laughs> hee! I think I make a pretty good painter myself. <laughs> you make a pretty messy one. Eh? Your face! Huh? Ooh! <laughs>
How did that get there? <laughs> I can't imagine, Small. Let's have those labels. And you go and get yourself cleaned up. So all I have to do now is stick the labels onto the yoghurt pots. So, I'm going to take a piece of sticky tape and stick the green herby paint label on there. On it goes. And then I'm going to do the same with the pink herby pot label. Bit of sticky tape. And onto the yogurt pot. Wrap it round. Excellent. And now it's time for the Herbie paint. So the green paint will go in here. Careful. Ooh. One spoonful and another. And now it's time for the pink Herbie paint. Just look how pink that is. Oh yes. One last big one. There we are. And the paint brushes just down at the front there. And hey presto, Herbie paint pots. Hoo -hoo. What do you think, Small? <laughs> our painter will love these. Oh, and off it goes to our hungry artist. Herbie Paint Pots coming through! There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. <laughs> Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh yes! It looks like Monsieur Le Splat enjoyed his Herbie paint pot small. And look! He's left a note! Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My Herbie paint pots were yummy! And to say thank you, I've painted a picture of you both. Oh, well, grill my kippers. So that's why he kept looking through the hatch. <laughs> well, I never. Look, Small. He's painted a picture of the both of us. Brilliant. I can send that to Aunt Mavis instead of a photograph. And she can see what I look like now. I'm all grown up. <laughs> She'll love it. See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our house.